Can I help you there? Sure. Those are supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Good men, like you. You don't know me. You turn up in this town, and you're helping everybody, and everywhere. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you... Five thousand. Five thousand? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these five thousand dollar horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you fifty cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. See the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. Now how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Her partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Passing you. Okay. Yeah. Nice and easy. No need to rush. 
Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here, you Scarface and your greaser buddy? Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is you boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Hey. <gasps> a hot greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's off. Don't need nobody wrecked. Nice one, sir. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Whoa, Easy. There. Easy. Easy. Marshal, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. OK. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here. I got the back. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these! Well done. 
Lemon's Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Come here. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Come on, now. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 654. Hey. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But. I like you boys, but I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're going to need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots.
You okay, mister? Please. I've been bitten by a snake. I need medicine. Oh, 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 you need to suck them in the mouth. Drink this. It'll help. Is that medicine? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. I owe you one, mister. Got that right. Hopefully, I could repay you someday. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Don't much like it. I, I, I'm oh, out here. My girl. No more. Just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? Yeah. On you, you know. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? When well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot. Then you'll get eaten. What a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat. He'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. If you carry on shooting from that bank, you're going to wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <laughs> the ten percent who survived... They're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, and to the west. Oh, and to the northwest, there. That's probably where we should look. Let's go look, then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. We'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. Oh, look. On that little beach. The waters. We're in luck. An alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Nate, it's got it. Quick, quick. I must get this shot. We caught him. In the middle of his dinner. This is history making, truly. Nature, in all its glory and cruelty. Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't. Okay. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Well, Gators got some catching up to do there. Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belts, Bibles even. They'll make anything out of gator leather that the market desires. And all a gator's gonna do with your leather is eat it. Or maybe chew on it a while. <laughs> Quite. It's hardly fair. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than, than alligators. There, in the channel. You see its head? Poking up there. Line us up to it. Right, right. There, in the cane rake. That's a likely spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. You point, I'll shoot, old boy. Come on. Now, rotate. Rotate. Closer now. 
Closer. Excellent. Beast in repose. All is calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. 17 feet, 19 feet, 21 feet with a five foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20 foot gators here and us two idiots are sitting in a 12 foot skiff? No, this is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. It ain't shame to this rowing fool who values his arm being attached to his body. It's them or us. Especially with the big one. stop too long, locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass, right? Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Specimen. Nearly got him eating me. I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Well, well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe, maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. Ah, yes. Docker here. Just pull up to the bank. That should do us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try.
Excuse me, sir. How do Can you I do bother that? you for a minute of your time? All right. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall. A shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. $20 ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's ah. plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Well, good luck to you. Seems a worthwhile cause. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. want to vote. I insist that I deserve the right to vote. Michael was you, huh? I think I earned a break. Ma'am? You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> Wait. If you're about it, Chaser, take a poster. If you're anything else, take a seat. It feels like some of these girls want to take off. You got that right. You going after Lindsey Waffle? I might be. Or I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamone Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I said that. May the You all right, girl? Hello?
the damn way. Sovereign territory, mister. Surrender. I'm well within my rights to shoot you. Someone take the big gun. I don't know who. Kill the crank bastard is. Keep Beagle pushing noise. Right. He got Lindsay, but he ain't taking him. Oh.
Come on, girl. Yeah. Offer. Now, let's get you back. <clears throat> let's go, girl. I believe this body's worth something. Well, now, so much for them boys being the care of the South. <laughs> Drop that raid in the cart out back. Come around for your bounty. <clears throat> Who the hell do you think you are? I make good on my promises. Here's your payment. Gracious of you. So 
Sorry about that. Hey there, girl. Thanks for that. Good luck. Come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle? Oh, Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. A smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. 
Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I thinking as hell about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just not the hell, bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really buried some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the brake weight still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. He just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Yep. Second, you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Yeah, we're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talk. Hey, hold it right there. What you want, boy? I've, uh, I've. There, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I mean you no harm. 
I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. And not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. All uh, right, you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> Quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places and... <clears throat> You can hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Hey, 
That should do it. I guess it was nothing. That's good. Like one of them balls you got. Would you look at that? <laughs> now let's go light ourselves a fat cigar. You pay for this! I'll deal with these fellas. You ain't leaving here! Company, look out! This is bloody madness! Right. Go 
Hold it, see! There it is! Maybe they haven't unloaded our cash yet. This is what it's all about. Oh, Arthur! Glad you're having fun. All right, come on, we'll take those horses. We'll uh, see if the payroll is actually in there. Hurry up. Oh, boy! We did good, Morgan. We did good. Right, well, let's go. Just get out of here first. I think we lost them. That we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Duchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Home. You let Jose know how we got on. 